Okay, this is part two to uh, the Yoga Kingdoms. Uh, look, you know, scan through the book um, as a video response to Tower God DM's uh, post about not having the book um, on his Wood Elf's uh, video. Okay, so uh, next time you see us, we'll be looking at the book again. Cheers. Um, lead belchers. These are hit and miss troops. It, um, in more ways than one, uh, they carry with them ship's cannon um, as uh, sort of you know as pistols, if you like. Um, there's the uh, unit you can buy uh, in plastic um, against uh, looks like Empire um, halberdiers again. And there's a uh, try and get a close up without the shine on it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like we had to see, they've got the yeah. Uh, the ship's cannon they're filled up with uh, scrap to launch at their foes um, yetis which are uh, rare I believe rare choice because uh, coming from the mountains they have probably uh, got some alliance with the yetis you can buy these models separately I think I've got all three maybe just the two though um, they're uh, metal figures so about a tenner each now I guess <laughs> loads of money uh, gorgeous, there you go, yeah, gorgeous, so these guys, um, pretty evil looking, I painted mine up with loads of blood dripping off them and stuff, uh, I, I've got both the mod, different, there's only two models, I've got them both at the time, um, that's uh, one of them against mounted um, Empire, uh, he's this, uh, still bigger than them, so pretty massive model, uh, man eaters, these are the, the ninjas, pirates, bearded lady ones, uh, pretty cool, Araby one there as well, I'll show you in a moment. Here's the uh, cartoon picture, and there's uh, these are individual models to purchase uh, as again. A um, couple of them are special order only from Games Workshop uh, Nottingham or wherever you are in the States, I guess you can order them uh, more locally. Um, but they are uh, huge models <coughs> and uh, pretty funny looking. Um, slave Giants. Uh, so you can use the Games Workshop joint, you know, or any joint, you know, <laughs> you know, the Games Workshop do a joint, and uh, that's the uh, rules there. Because being an ogre joint, he's probably a bit more aggressive, and uh, you know, has uh, learned to fight differently. Uh, Noblar fighters, a bit about Noblars here. Uh, I don't go into a lot of detail. They're really, uh, really are fodder troops. But you got the fighters, and you got trappers, which are special they look pretty cool uh, with their uh, sort of wolf skin um, cloaks on um, Noblar scrap launcher which is going to be one of the uh, units in the game now because scrap launchers and stuff like that are, uh, are really uh, high damage weapons uh, you know war machines and it's on a carry it's uh, um, pulled by a Rhinox and Forge World actually made um, Rhinox riders like cavalry for the Ogre Kingdoms um, using these Rhinox beasts. So you can see one pulling the model there uh, with you know, ogres on, on top of them uh, charging. I think they made a huge one as well uh, just to have run the, you know, like sort of an elephant type uh, model. But uh, a Rhinox, uh, there we go, a bit more about the hobby, so I'll try and skip through this bit. But it does go into the tribal colours. Um, so, you know, they've got all sort of war paint on them, or they paint their uh, armour differently. <clears throat> you get like the all gold ones, blue ones. Uh, there's all the symbols that you can paint, they all have certain meanings. Um, and, uh, Poem, even a little poem, a little bit of prose for you. Um, here's the uh, geneal gene genealogy, I think that's the right word, the biology of the um, ogre here, yeah, uh, written in sort of a textbook format. Maybe some empire uh, guy studied one if he was lucky enough to find a dead one <laughs> that hadn't already been eaten by his mates. Um, you see they've got like really thick skulls and small brains and so you know they're extremely hard to kill massive lungs um, just give them a bit there's a little bit about the actual ogre kingdoms bit of uh, you know fluff uh, background uh, their uh, sort of uh, rituals and stuff 
and here's the map of the Ogre Kingdoms um, so again with the the battles picked out in cross swords Noblar country <laughs> um, so they're right on the coast by the Dragon Isles by the looks things Uh, it actually goes into a bit of detail about the uh, geography here. Um, pictures of the Rhinox, you know, pulling the carts and stuff. A couple of pages there. More about the tribes and uh, their symbols. You know, uh, the symbols that represent each tribe. Uh, you, there's a lot of fluff in this, so if you wanted to run. Um, Ogres in your war in a fancy roleplay. It's uh, a very useful book, um, and you know you could probably pick this up for a couple of quid off eBay. Um, but it is current, so uh, you know you might have to look around for a cheap one. That's all I'm saying because although a lot, not a lot of people play them, um, it is still a current book, so you can still pick it up in Games Workshop. But it's eighteen pound there, so. You know, eBay man might try and charge you 10 or 15 quid for it, including postage or something like that. <clears throat> gut magic. Yeah. Um, so, this goes into a lot of detail about gut magic. Um, time is marching on a bit, but um, didn't want to ignore this. There's all the spells we got we got Blood Gruel, Brain Gobbler, Ball Gorger, uh, Bone Crusher. Toothcracker, Troll Guts, and I noticed they're all on a 3 plus. But you have a miscast table, <laughs> as always, and um, you know it's pretty bad. <laughs> um, but uh, can can be good for you, can be really bad for you. Uh, tools of Tools of Destruction, which is all the magic items, you know, similar to what you get in any other book, but uh, all the ogre stuff you can kit out your tyrants with. Um, or any champions in your units, uh, or you know, just sort of your war parties if you fancy role playing it. Some more artwork of their banners, stuff like that. Just get a nice one of that. Looks like a sea dragon cloak from a dark elf or something draped along that one. On the skulls of his enemies. Urgh. Gathering them like this is now on the army list. Like I say, it's a pretty well designed book. This one, it, uh, this. Um, it it saves the uh, all the stat blocks till last, so it's quite nicely organised for us uh, from a role play perspective. There's one of the um, uh, you know, uh, guys with the uh, ship's cannon <laughs> and the uh, the flaming torch in his mouth, ready to light it. So really, it's going to be special characters at the end. Here we go. Right, just sorry, while I flip through this, guts of legend and. Um, there we go, we've got you know, a bit of fluff about uh, four different ones there. Sort of the minor ones. Scrag the Slaughterer, he's the great big um, Slaughtermaster, which would be the level four wizard. Uh, try and get him in shot for you. But uh, might have a bit of shine on him. Just try that way around. But um, the actual model looks just like that. You've got the great big cauldron that he's pulling along with chains. Uh, you know, and he's got his butcher's apron on, marching forward into the enemy. Got a load of, a load of uh, guts on his um, uh, claw there. Greasier skull tooth, which is the uh, ogre tyrant, of the ogre kingdoms. Great big guy on his uh, um, throne. Um, and uh, you see the size difference that you got like right there. The hapless empire heroes and uh, Greasius, the huge ogre, um, just getting coming in. Um, and at the end, the reference sheet with all the stats and uh, the showcase of the, the the best painted miniatures that they had at the time. I'm sure, there's some even better ones now. That's a sort of a homemade slaughtermaster butcher. I've not actually seen that model. Um, another homemade one, kind of weird looking S and M job. Uh, one there with a load of empire banners that he's taken, the tyrant there. Um, so, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. A uh, little look at Ogre Kingdoms. Hope it helped win. Um, 
and uh, I'll uh, I'll catch you later. I've got to edit this video down somehow because it's 17 minutes long. <laughs> bye bye. Right, that concludes the look through the uh, Ogre Kingdoms book. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, uh, and anyone can gather any information from it they might need. Um, so uh, I'll uh, I'll catch you in the next videos. I've got a couple more to upload uh, coming over the weekend probably. So uh, I'll see you then. Bye.